Just last year, California became the first state in the country to recognize Transgender History Month, uh, which is in August, and this is our uh, first time where we're here celebrating. We've got uh, about 100 or so transgender Californians who are here who are part of that history, and we're making history every day in their work to stand up for trans people and to stand up for their rights and protections. We had a, a press conference kicking off the, the first year where we were able to do that at the beginning of August for Transgender History Month. Happy California Transgender History Month. Uh, uh, because of, of many of the people who are gathered here behind me, uh, California became the first state in the country just last year uh, to declare August Transgender History Month. This is actually the first time even though we did this last year, the first time that we are here to kick off California's first ever Transgender History Month. And so we're celebrating, we're having some food, but we're taking the time to acknowledge and celebrate transgender history. And it's a good time on top of the work that we need to do to make sure those rights are protected. I wanna thank everyone who spoke uh, today, uh, not just here, but at the press conference earlier. Today is about love. It's about acceptance. It's about celebrating diversity for all Americans here in California. We celebrate the fact that trans people are here, that they've always be here, that they will continue to be here, here in the state of California and across the world. And I wanna also acknowledge and thank you all for the way that you did not allow the hate that we witnessed firsthand at the press conference earlier today. In fact, the hate that we witnessed in many ways was a reminder of why this is necessary. This is really about making sure people know that trans Californians have always been here and they've always been contributing to our state. Just like every community, they deserve recognition, acknowledgement, celebration, especially at a time when, when so many legislators are attacking transgender members of the community are passing laws to restrict their rights. It's really important that we not only pass laws to protect them, but that we celebrate their history and contributions and we educate people about the truth about transgender members of our community. And we're here to do that. This effort to establish a Transgender History Month will bring awareness, education, and outreach which will help to ensure that the rights of transgender people and gender expansive people are understood and protected in our state.